Well, hi. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I enjoyed the movie. Um, uh, so start out. Why don't you both, for people who haven't seen it, just tell me a bit about your characters and what it was that made you decide you had to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, aside from the fact that it's a, a based off a true Latino story, um, that's, you know, that's part of it. And, and just the aspect of him, you know, the underdog status. A lot of movies when I was a kid kind of shaped who I was at school when I wasn't with my parents, you know, whether, you know, like it was, you know, a karate kid or, or like Mike, there was a lot of things that, uh, that I, after watching a movie that motivated me or inspired me to be bigger than what I am, that I would take and, and go to school and, and, you know, it kind of imitate with my friends. So um, I guess just this, those factors, you know, of, of, you know, just the underdog the, being dedicated and, and uh, I guess just searching for, for respect. Right. Lena? Um, yeah, definitely reading the script. I, I'm from Texas and I didn't even know that this was a story that happened here in Del Rio. Um, and so reading the script, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. Daniela, I play Daniela and she's just ahead of her time and, and knows what she wants and is dreaming big. And, and that very much hooked me into playing this role. All right. Jolene, I wanted to ask you, are you, do you golf or did you go, I guess, <laughs> prepare by golfing for this? Yeah, I know it's, God, I, I, everyone's been asking me that and I do play and it's so funny. I feel like I've been saying it enough times where like, damn, I should be better than what I am. Cause like <laughs> now it's like, I'm, I, I do play and, and, um, uh, I'm, I'm okay. And I, I did play right before I did play before I even got the movie. And, and, you know, I, I, I fell in love with the game before I even booked this movie. So, um, to kind of do a movie based off a game that I love to play, it just really came full circle for me. And, and I was really, really happy about that for sure. That's cool. I've only ever played miniature golf, so I would not be good at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> yeah. So um, for, for both of you, what what parts of your character, I guess, were the easiest to connect with and the hardest to connect with? Just whoever wants to go first. Uh, I, I guess for uh, for me, the, e the easiest to connect with, actually, no, I'm sorry, the hardest. The hardest to connect with was, I guess, the relationship he had with his father um, because you know, me, I, I have a, you know, a great relationship, you know, with both my parents. I'm, you know, I, I've, I'm very fortunate and I, I, I love them both dearly. So I guess, you know, in real life, you know, they, they've helped me, they supported me. So I guess it's, it's kind of hard to, I guess, relate to that aspect of Joe, um, that dynamic, that relationship that he had with his father. Um, and then the easiest for me um, to connect with was probably just the camaraderie of the group and, and then just the chemistry with, with Paulina, and, but that's all attributed to, you know, them as actors and, and them as just great human beings, you know, being on set. It just made it that much easier for me to connect and, and just, you know, feel like as if we've known each other longer than we have. What about you, Paulina? Yeah, the, the hardest part for me was, you know, going onto this film, knowing they've already been shooting for, I think it was like a month. And so me like trying to find my footing. Um, and I think the easiest part was, you know, again, I, I, I'm surrounded by, so, so many strong women in my life and so that kind of helped me build this character because she is very strong and powerful yeah she kind of she kind of knows what she wants and doesn't doesn't take crap from anybody mm -hmm. um so did you and and i don't know this may be more a question for you Jillian, because you were with kind of the, the the team but did you guys hang out at all outside of the film i i just was curious because it seems like you might have maybe in order to get that sort of camaraderie, I guess, between, between you guys, or even if, if you and Paulina did, I just was kind of curious. Yeah. Yeah. No, we definitely, I mean, uh, luckily, you know, whenever we were on location, we kind of all stayed at the same hotel. So, um, whether it was before work or after work, you know, we all kind of met up for dinner or, or you know, just in between takes on set, whether it's, you know, transpo driving us to set or us in the, in the hair and makeup trailer, um, you know, or, you know, sitting in cast holding, there was definitely a lot of, you know, in between times that we uh, were able to kind of just build and, and, and get to know one another. Um, so, so yeah, we did. Um, what did you both learn about yourselves from working on this? Besides maybe getting better at golf? What, what did you, or like either, you know, from an acting standpoint or just I don't know, something that maybe changed about you since doing this project. We'll just go, Paulina, you go first this time. If you um, I was think there just continue and, and and just exploring the craft and loving the craft. Um, but I think it's just 
really, this is a playground. And I think Julio allowed us that space to play around with our characters and try new things. Um, and so just to continue doing that and to not stress about it too much. Yeah, I think for me, um, this is really kind of like the first project or first film that, you know, I'm, I'm one of the leads in. So um, in my mind, I, I kept, you know, before I even shot making it bigger than what it was in regards to how I should uh, assess and approach, you know, the script and the character. I feel like, you know, with me, I learned that me doing the work before and just trusting my instincts uh, could go a long way. And um, I, I feel like I was lucky to be paired up with Julio as a director because he put us in position to succeed. That's for sure. Um, but I guess, yeah, the one thing I learned was more so of just being able to collaborate and be, have an open mind of, of what I thought, you know, how things should be playing out, but then seeing it or hearing it from perspective of the outside looking in, just taking those notes and being able to just kind of, you know, divert yourself into, you know, different ways and, and, and just taking a note in my head. That was my thing. I guess I learned how to take notes on, on, on the go and then be able to just to kind of put it on screen for sure. Did you, for either of you, does it feel, I guess, more restricted knowing that you're playing some like part of a true story, you know, having to be a little more true and not being able to maybe be as, you know, I guess, Im imaginative. I don't know if that's the right word, but being able to kind of bring as much of yourself into it. Did that, did that feel restrictive at all for either of you? Um, I think, I think there is like a certain responsibility that we, we all had knowing that this is a true story and a, and a powerful story. Um, but I think we also have to just remember to have fun with it and um, just be true to the character. Yeah, I mean, it's restrictive, maybe in a sense that because it's a timepiece and it's in the 50s, uh, usually in some films you have a little bit room to kind of like improv or, or um, you know, say certain, you know, add lines and stuff like that. But I feel like because it's a timepiece during the 50s, there's a lot of things that you can't really say because those words weren't really, you know, spoken about during that time. So restrictive in that sense, I didn't, but I didn't feel restrictive um, as far as, you know, the, the character because, um, I mean, I, I mean, I keep saying, it, I, Julio just really made it easy for us. Like I said, he really helped with uh, building, you know, just who we are as far as the character being displayed on, on, on set. So you talk about it being the fifties. Now, I, I guess your, your cautions for both of you weren't hugely different from now as they could have been, I guess, but did that help you to get into character for, for either of you? Is that something that you kind of relied on or is that something that doesn't really in your mind, make much of a difference? People are different. So. Um, I think, I think, yeah, um, getting into it, I mean, having the wardrobe on set and, and the cars, I mean, everything really did help get into and get into that mindset and get into that feel of it. Um, I, I feel like also Bogota, it was just like such pretty scenery that just for whatever reason, something in the air there just helped me get into it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, for me, that's really the only way that, that I felt that I could have brought out its true self by putting on the clothes and, and being surrounded by the aesthetics of, of that time. And, you know, the set build up. Um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to feel like you're in the fifties when I'm in my usual attire, I'm usually, you know, in a baseball cap and, you know, just, you know, regular, you know, clothes, but, um, to play Joe Trevino during that time, you need to put on the clothes that were worn back then. You need to see, yeah, you know, the people dressed like how they were back in the day. You need to see, um, you need to hear the words that were said back in the day to really fully, you know, hone in during that time and and make sure that you're you're giving the story the story its its true uh, essence of that time period. All right. Do you both have a favorite scene that you can talk about without spoiling too much? Little little tidbit or a favorite line or something like that. Both of you. Um, for me, I think it was like the water tower scene. Um, that was pretty fun and a great view. I, I I literally that was on my mind. I was gonna say that water tower scene. I, I we we climbed up a flight that was so high. She was actually like all about it. I was like, oh my I god, was, like this is so high. <laughs> she went up with no worries. Like if she was at Six Flags, it was. But um, but um, but yeah, that was that was that was a cool scene just because we had the drone up too, and 
and um, you know, just seeing the layout of the view, it was just, it was just so, so beautiful and, and such a good moment. And um, I, at least with me, I it just, I feel like it just made that scene that much more impactful in the movie. So um, yeah, I would, I would have to agree with, with Paulina for sure. Yeah, it was a good scene. You made me wonder though when you said that. So they, I didn't even think about that. So they used a drone to to film part of it because they probably so, didn't carry all that up there, all equipment up there. Well, so there was a drone, but there was also our our uh, our camera guy was up there as well. Like so, it was a full team. Like I, I I remember, you know, the producers stressing about you know insurance clauses, like oh, what do we do? Should, you know, but um, but we were but we were both game about it. Uh, you know, we were, we were both game on on making sure we got you know the right shot, and uh, obviously with as much safety and protection as as you can put on that high of a of a water tower. But um, I just feel like everything that was going on, it was kind of windy too, and I think there was a you know at one point they even like i think they had to like uh like fly up uh whether it was a chapstick that i needed because it was like you know super windy or little you know makeup stuff for you know, for Berlin. right exactly like we did our own you know yeah uh yeah. You know, last looks on each other it was, it was kind of fun <laughs> okay. well, that's interesting that's definitely different so um just in general not specifically for this show but just in general what do you both look for when you're looking for a role and deciding whether to to go for it is there anything in particular you're looking for um, for me, um, I think it's the same thing with Daniela just like kind of called to me and I think it's just because she, she's very outspoken and, and, and a chingona. Um, and so I think that's something that I look for in each character. I mean, every single character that has come my way has been that, um, so I'll continue looking for that. <laughs> what about you, Julian? Yeah, I mean, I feel like as my career, you know, progresses, it's, it's kind of changed. In the beginning, I was just so happy to have a role, whether it was the smallest role on something. And then and then that grew into like, okay, I want to be, you know, I want to be part of the storyline that's being told in the film or in the show. And then so now for me, as I, you know, climb up the ladder and, and, and hope to continue gain more opportunities, I think now for me, the bigger picture is uh, having roles that could impact, you know, youth into you know, have a motivating and inspiring factor and, and just, you know, being able to portray, uh, I guess, a, a sign of hope and a, a sign of motivation for, uh, for the youth, for sure. Right. Yeah, this is definitely a motivational movie, emotional, too. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you, both of you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I enjoyed the film. So thank you for talking to me and have a good rest of your day. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye bye.